the Lord laid in my heart this morning to emphasize on the strength of unity. So as a child of God, you cannot claim to belong to God when your spirit is not in unity with him. And so that is why this morning I want to emphasize on the need for you to use the strength that you have. That strength of unity to be able to, you know, promote the work of God in this place. Strength is the ability to bear. It is the ability to endure and continue in the face of opposing slash negative forces. Let me tell you, God told me one day that the reason why God is helping me, the reason why I'm having comfort in ministry because of the seed that I've sown why I was working for others. I, there is the strength of the body, soul and spirit. There is the strength of memory, strength of judgment, strength to withstand temptation. Like I've said, you need strength for everything in heaven. There is both physical and spiritual dimensions of strength. Strength is dynamic. It can grow. It can reduce. The Bible says the glory of the youth is in their strength. So as you go, if you don't train your system very well, just like this physical body is, if at this level you are 20 years, you are 15 years, you are 30 years, you cannot pray for one hour. When you become 60 and 70, I doubt if you can pray for 20 minutes. Because even if you want to pray that long, your body will be complaining. The disciples were in the upper room for 40 days. That they think I'm correct. Why did they have to wait for 40 days? It will be that God was looking at that point where their spirit will be fully united. If it remains one person, that may be a drag. Praise the Lord. The book of uh, Osea chapter 7 Verse 1 says that uh, while when I will have healed Ephraim, I mean Israel, the sin of uh, okay, let me when I will have healed Israel, then the iniquity of Ephraim was discovered, and the wickedness of Samaria, for they commit falsehood, and the thief cometh in, and the troop of robbers spoiled without. Let me bring something down there. It may be that the Israelites, as Israelites, you know they have 12 tribes. Ephraim is just one of the tribes. Praise the Lord. Maybe they have been seeking the face of God for something. But suddenly, somebody canceled their prayer. One tribe, Ephraim. God said, when I will have hid Israel, the sin of Ephraim was remembered. It shows that the whole nation was not in unity. They were not in perfect unity. And they missed that season of healing. I pray in this church we will not miss our day of visitation in the name of Jesus. Amen. So it is good to be in one accord. It is good to be in one accord. When all of us are in one accord as a church, that is when we can have perfect visit, perfect blessing of the Holy Spirit. In order to maximize the potential of peace for meaningful development, we need to tolerate one another. We need to be tolerant and be ready to sacrifice our ego. Praise the Lord. And be ready to make trade off. That is give and take. Give and take. Let us learn to complement each other's shortcomings. We cannot all be at the same level of spirituality. Praise the Lord. If you see somebody that is just upcoming, try to encourage that person. Don't just write the person off. Encourage the person. Work on the person. Make the disciple of that person. So that the workforce can be enhanced. So this morning, I want to use the opportunity of this uh, anniversary to appeal to us to double our efforts in the area of unity. I'm not saying you are not united. It can be improved. I told you, unity is dynamic. It can grow. 
It's elastic. Those of us that are still hiding, you don't want to be known so that they won't give you extra work. God work is not extra work. God work is the primary work. Praise the Lord. The primary duty of a man is to serve God. That is the best thing that can happen to you. And when you serve God, you have peace. You have peace of mind. Praise the Lord. I pray this morning that we are going to leverage on the theme of this uh, anniversary, which is uh, oneness with the Spirit to advance the cause of God's work in this place. As we do so, God shall bless us in the name of Jesus.